Okay, everyone, I'm going to show you what I had in my pack. So the rifle was attached. There's the rifle there to the side here, just with two straps. I took the straps off already and I took out our water bladders. They were just sitting right here. So if we go up in the lid here, I have some jerky and cheese. I got my bipod. I got a, a rear rest for shooting. I got a bipod my pot and some toilet paper and two things of wet ones that's all i got in there in here this was heavy gopro batteries um two power banks and all the charging cables and then i got six bagels and garbage from coming up here and another half roll of toilet paper i find that's usually what i need for coming up here is um, one and a half rolls of toilet paper. Ugh. Okay, I didn't wear my jacket at all coming up here, so I just threw it under here. Okay, in here, things I want to get out like quick. I brought some echinacea because there's a few guys at work that were sick last week, and guess what? They made me sick. So I wasn't feeling 100% when I came in this morning today, and I'm in ODing on echinacea and. Uh, it's cold and flu stuff. I feel okay 100% other than I started losing my voice. So wilderness athletes, um, spare batter, spare eyeglasses, some uh, energies, inner, inner, what is it? Emergency, I should say. Uh, and then I got uh, 10 bullets. And there's my protein bar that I was looking for on the way up here. I knew it was in there. Okay. I should take an echinacea too. Okay, this little front pouch right here. The only thing I put in here is my ring gear. I want that fast and quick to access. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this uh, by myself. Rob's digging a hole over there for his, uh, uh, for his tent to go to. Okay, so here I got my bino harness, last of guide creations. Can't say enough about that. Very, very nice. Works very well. This is all my food. This is first aid. This is my blow up X bed. Very, very, very comfortable. And so far it's been reliable. This here is just like a kill kit. I have an EpiPen in here as well. And my knives. I have my uncle in there in bullets, in a bullet from his ashes I packed with him. I showed you guys that all before. And there's some garbage bags in there and tie downs. I got some meat bags here for boning out a sheep. This is my sleeping bag. Here I got uh, a rain cover and then my Crocs and that's it for the top. Then I got my Leopold spotting scope here. This is a, uh, the hell is it? 12 to 40 I believe. This is my tent. Kuyu Mountain Star two person. Absolutely highly recommend it although it is not a two person. Maybe one man one woman but uh, in an emergency two man but uh, Rob and I bring our own. Uh, this is all my clothes and I have a pillow in there. I'll show you all that later. And then this is my clothes, or sorry, my food. I believe that was like 16 pounds of food. No, 13, wasn't it? And this is a sill tarp. You'll see what we do with the sill tarp here in a bit. It's gonna be going uh, in between Rob and I's tent. So we can uh, put everything in the middle. We can watch movies and cook because we are gonna get rain. There's no doubt about it. We are going to get rain. Uh, my pack coming in total weight, I believe, was... Oh, what was it? Probably, I'm guessing about 65 pounds with water, rifle, everything. And here I have another flashlight. And I got chapstick. You have to have chapstick. Bug dope. That's what's in there. And this one here... I got a bug net. Which is necessity. More garbage. Uh, sunscreen. And then afterbite, and yes, I used it because I got bit bad right above my left eye. We'll see what happens with that in the morning. Hopefully, nothing. The other side, I had, I kept some waffles in there so they wouldn't uh, get broken. I keep my GoPro in here. On my side, I carry my InReach and my uh, uh, video camera. Two GoPro battery batteries in there as well. Uh, so that is pretty much everything that I have. And as you can see, there's Rob's pack there, and he's pretty much got the same as I do. Yeah. 
Uh, get everything mixed up. Want to do it? Okay. His was a lot heavier, uh, thicker than mine. I don't know. He did, maybe he didn't. I don't think he went as high as I did, and I don't think his food was in a no, so I in do, a compression sack. No, I do different with my food. So he just throws it in there like a like a messy bed. I do, yep. <laughs> just so it fits. So there's that boat anchor I was telling you about. Yeah. <laughs> 20, 40 by 60. Okay. And it's like six pounds. Okay, I'm gonna, okay. okay, so what so else you got? My pack, Crocs. Crocs carry, are a necessity. Oh, it's awesome when you get your off. I carry the stove and what I do is I have the small one in there. I don't use it only if we're up on the mountain and we're staying. We use the bigger one here? And I use the bigger one. And we do have one hidden somewhere up here. Yeah, um, so I, Day's food, and I label it, oh, day eight, and then okay. that way it goes like beef and then chicken, and, oh, uh, get... a little OCD. He gets, uh, uh, we bought eight of them. Eight, yeah. For eight, so one for today. Usually one for today, and when we I got out of here, we, we don't really eat much. We're out of here by noon anyways. So you can see that's all this oh. food that he's throwing out there. There's just tent pigs. And then noodles, and a separate one. Siltar, if I carry this one when we go hiking. Yeah, and I put mine up on the tent. Yeah. We carry that one for hiking just in case we have to spend the night somewhere. Yeah. Got some wipes. Wipes are very essential up yeah. here. I mean, just for hygiene. Um, if you don't, you're gonna get a rash. I don't oh, care who oh you. yeah. And I do two, so I do three quarters of a roll and then a half a roll. Okay. And I do two bags, and I usually keep one here. Yeah, and I leave one, one here hiking, too. and then that way I kind of don't have to go through a bag and try right. to find it. That's his X-Bed as well. Sleeping bed. And that's his same, tent. Same tent as Al. Awesome tent. Can't go wrong with his tent. No. There's his uh, Japanese oh, knockoff uh, knock his bipods. Yeah, which <laughs> I never use. I always use my bag for all my kills and it's just worked out that way. Yeah. Uh, game bags. Oh, okay. Um, that's what those are. In here. And then uh, what I do too is with my food, I'll throw it in one of these bags. Yeah. And then I cuts the smell down and then you don't get rodents or yeah or bears that's like what that. we do. i do too i put them in those bags and inside my compression sack and i leave, actually i leave my food in my tent yeah where else are you going to put it here yeah. <laughs> so this is my qu down sleeping bag mine's a mountain hardware bought a new pillow this, this time nice. and try that out and uh, in here, red for kill. That's kill kit. Yeah. So I is that an actual kuyu kill kit? Ku well, oh, that's just the, that's just the bag. Okay. Just the bag. Uh, just red, just for it. Spare bullets, gloves, garbage bags, safety kit. Yep. Some uh, rope. knife, rope, yeah, twine, whatever. Yeah. Uh, tape. Tape. That's about it. Another Tag good thing that are in here. Yeah, another thing that someone should bring is zip ties. We'll save Rob one day or when we're up here. His pack broke. Yeah. And we zip tied it and taped it. And um, I think we tied it too. Yeah, I think. Where is it? Oh, that'll be in the other bag. That's there. Oh, his brand new I, underwear that he forgot. Brand new. I for, totally forgot long underwear this time. So I had, we had to stop. Uh, what kind of binos bino? you got? I got some new binos this time. <laughs> a good friend of mine lent me uh, a pair that he just got. Oh, those, so oh, those are Apex. I heard those are really good. Summit Pros. Summit Pros. So these are 12 by 50s with a reticle in it. Yeah, reticles. Yeah, meh. it's you can adjust it so it's out of the way a little bit. Yeah, but. you can put it kind of put it like so the points at the top. So when you're glassing stuff, it's kind of out of your way. Yeah, because it does get in your way. Yeah, range when you're hunting. Yeah, rangefinder, earplugs, <laughs> more full, uh, battery pack, 20,000 amp hours. Uh, in this front pouch, I got rain gear. Rain gear. This one, this phone scope, phone scope, and cables. And then this one is just like a hygiene camp bag. I got these are the straps that save. those are a necessity. Go to yeah. some place, you pay two or three bucks for them, and they just they'll save your butt if if, you, if your uh, pack breaks, or if you're going to strap sheep horns onto your pack. We've used them quite often. Yeah, headlamps. Uh, this yep. is the QU strap I have buckle kit. I have kit. that as well. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, it's in the in the front thing. I must have missed it. Yeah, some more rope. Two headlamps. Toothbrush. Dental Toothbrush. floss. Yes, we floss our teeth up here. Yeah. Uh, 
Hopefully my hygienist is watching this by Dota. <laughs> my niece is a hygienist, she'll be proud. Yeah. Toilet paper. Uh, in, in the front I put uh, the water purifier. That yeah, because we like to have that. We yeah, need that, that quickly. Yeah. Extra shirt Access there. Bucket. <clears throat> uh, basically it's all my clothes. Extra spare clothes, underwear, sweater, toque, socks. Now, we're up here for eight days. Myself, I brought one extra pair of socks and one extra pair of underwear. If you buy really good underwear that is whatever, micro whatever, doesn't... Merino wool? No, micro by whatever. Oh, yeah. Stops yeah. it from smelling. <laughs> you can wear them for like four or five days and honest to God, they do not smell. Yeah. Yeah. Usually yeah. about halfway we'll, we'll switch out. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And the socks I do every day because I let that pair dry out from the day before. So... Uh, yeah. On that note, we're going to set up our tent. Look at the mess here. It's like a garage sale, isn't it? <laughs> um, I'm not going to open my bags right now. I can always show you guys that later. That's just food, the red one. The blue one's got the pillow and my clothes, like I said. And uh, check this thing out, man. I'm just tickled pink with this thing. I know you guys are getting sick and tired of seeing this thing, but man, oh man, it was so nice. My, my barrel was nice and low. I hardly even knew it was there. So, uh, Drink that water. Okay. We are gonna set up now. Actually, let's eat first. What the hell with the tents? Let's just get some hot water going and uh, have some uh, mountain house. Okay, boys and girls, gents, people, everybody, all my followers and viewers, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Well, everyone, tonight's gonna be a wrap. As I'm talking to you, there's three of those little red bugs on my <laughs> uh, camera. Yes, I have my... Uh, um, bug net on it and I got I'm getting eaten alive without it I had one bite me on my hand already those are, little, those are the little red ones that make me swell up real bad from last bear season and hunting season so uh, I've never seen so many of them but uh, so we're gonna call it a night it's almost nine o'clock and uh, we'll get a good rest tonight Hopefully there's a little wind tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey Rob? Yeah. Need some wind, just like earlier today. Yeah. Didn't even notice the bugs that bad. Oh. And then now they're coming out in force. Like crazy. That goat is right over there. He's bedded down. Okay, there's our first uh, ungulate of the trip. That would be a mountain goat. And we just watched him cover a long ways and now he's bedded down there. Not much to see, he's kind of far away, but I uh, thought I'd share it with you guys anyways. Hey everybody, what is he? Comment below. Is it a Billy or is it a Nanny? It's 1,685 meters away, I ranged it. Holy cow, man. You guys would not believe the mosquito or the red flies here. Okay, anyways, I'll show you how far away he is. He is a long ways. And he come, came from... Way up over there at the top of that mountain. There's so many guys up here hunting. He was on a mission to get over there. I think he was pushed there by um, some other hunters. So, yeah, we're just gonna sit here in glass and hopefully show you guys some more animals here. So yeah, like I said in that uh, little clip there, put down below what you think it is in the comments. Is it a Billy or is it a Nanny? Or is it, uh, you can't tell. I'm out of really can't tell, but I would lean towards a Billy just because He's by himself, but uh, that doesn't mean anything. Okay, everybody, we're off to bed. Have a good night, and uh, see you in the morning.